White Haven, a beautiful city, one of Britain's important historical shipping docks in the Lake District, is the place of our next inspiring video of people finding the divine truth. Kevin is a middle-aged man of punk background who turned to Islam upon sighting a Quran in a bookshop window. Quite accident while on a stroll with his wife. He says it sort of jumped at me, proving that the guidance from Allah can appear at any point of time. Kevin tells two da'is, preachers of Islam, that he went back into the bookshop because he felt something within him urging him to go get it. So he purchased the Quran for four pounds and began reading through it for two months. Da'wa literally means issuing a summons, invitation, or a call in Arabic, and refers to the preaching of Islam and the exhortation to submit to Allah. It can also refer to preaching to non-Muslims. Those who practice da'wah have been active both inside and outside the Muslim community. Today, da'wah both calls lapsed Muslims to the faithful practice of Islam in a non-Muslim context and do outreach to non-Muslims to spread the faith. In the UK and many other countries, devout followers band themselves together to do street da'wah. One such group travels to Lake District to train more brothers to engage in the concept of street da'wah. They scope for more rural, isolated cities and check out the local mosques and the local community to ascertain if street da'wah would work out. In their training sessions, the participants are usually Muslims, with rare appearances of others eager to learn Islam. Kevin was one such participant at a training session, and he sat through the session intently pursuing the da'i's words. These community-based da'wah groups first introduce the interested participants to the religion in a gradual process. And upon them feeling they're ready enough to accept the shahada, they encourage them to complete the wudu and take the declaration of faith and submission to Allah alone. Islam is not a religion that forces itself upon people, and the adherents of Islam are not supposed to force or compel their beliefs upon anyone, but they're encouraged to be living examples of the faith they follow, and they're also encouraged to teach the religion in simple ways to others. With this background in mind, the Muslim brothers in Lake District had been meeting Kevin and teaching him Islam and answering his questions over a few months. And with the grace of Almighty Allah, Kevin took his shahada at a street da'wah congregation at a community center. The brothers present are pleased and wish their new brother in Islam all the best in his new life as a Muslim. Upon taking the shahada, the devotees present ask Kevin what he feels like, and his instant response is, I feel like a weight has been lifted. SubhanAllah, the mercy of Allah descends upon these new believers, and they're like newborn babies, free of all sins. Allah relieves them from their past actions, and for these new reverts, it is like starting afresh on a blank slate. The other brothers present are advised to keep close to Kevin and assist him with whatever aid he requires and to be there for him at all times. As Islam is a religion of unity and brotherhood, skin color, background, race, or caste has no place in Islam. And upon making the declaration of faith, we're all one. These brothers tell Kevin about how all Muslims have one goal to attain and that is to enter Jannah. They teach him about how Jannah has been described by Allah in the Quran, a place of eternal bliss, forever peace and happiness, a place free from all problems, worries and stresses, a place of love and relaxation, and most importantly, a place free from all types of negativities. Now who wouldn't want to attain entry to a place as such? This description of paradise and the promise of Allah that all devotees of Islam who adhere to the legislations 
devoutly and sincerely will enter paradise, encourages and pushes the Muslims to practice the religion as diligently as they can and abstain as much as possible from the evil deeds and sins that keep popping up in their daily lives. In a further discussion with Kevin, he tells the brother about how he felt upon reading the Qur'an. He admits that he didn't come from a strong Christian background and he had confusion about monotheism, the oneness and the confusion about the fact that Jesus is God and Jesus is a prophet too. He says further, delving into the Qur'an made him realize that the only one true God is Allah and that Jesus was a prophet of Allah. And that's one of the main things that kind of cleared the confusion and made him realize that Islam was the only true religion. When people seek guidance, when people have hearts that are open and receptive to guidance, when people are pure and sincere, the road to Islam is facilitated by the Almighty Himself. Kevin turned to Google and searched for the mosque closest to him, and from there, there was no turning back. He contacted the Imam of that masjid, who in turn connected to him to the masjid closer to his area, and that's where Kevin met the brothers he took the shahada with. Kevin is eager to learn about the other tenets of Islam, and with the support and encouragement of the Muslim community he has got connected with, Allah will ease his path for him. He's encouraged to keep coming back to the masjid, to keep praying, to keep the questions coming in, so he can fully understand and be aware of the beautiful religion of Islam. May Allah bless Kevin and keep him steadfast upon the path of Islam and grant him Jannah, along with the supportive community he is blessed to be a part of. Ameen.